I will. So, question three. Um, find the first three terms in this expansion, 1 minus 2x. Remember, we're really thinking of this as being 1 plus minus 2x. Uh, minus a half. It's really kind of them to give them this because there's no messing around with, with kind of dealing with the one. It's it's a one. That's right. It goes straight into putting it in the formula, which says one plus n times x. So n is minus a half, and x is our minus two x plus n times n minus one. N times n minus 1. If we take 1 away from minus a half, we get minus 3 over 2. Over 2 times the x thing squared times minus 2x squared. And then it would go on, but that's all they wanted. Three first three terms, that's it. So we have 1 minus a half times minus 2 gives us 1 plus 1 x. And then we've got, well, what have we got here? We've got, um, this would be a 4 plus 4, and the, the half and the half there, that would be a quarter. So we can get rid of those, cancel those out. We're left with minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 3 over 2 <coughs> times x squared. <coughs> and then the expansion would go on. And it wasn't a question that asked us anything about the valid values because it told us x is between, or x, modulus of x is less than a half. So we, we had that given to us. Quite a straightforward Three marks. It's easy to make mistakes though, isn't it, with forgetting about the minus two and, and losing your way with that a little bit. Um, hence, find the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of this. Well, again, it's a reasonably standard question. It's really saying, instead of that, we are talking about that being the same as x plus three times one minus two x to the minus a half, which is exactly what we just worked out. So it's x plus three times by the thing that we've just worked out. And if we are interested here in, um, we want to know the, the coefficient of x squared, so how could we make an x squared? We could do it by doing x times x there, and we could do it by doing 3 times 3 over 2x squared there. Um, so that gives us all together We've got uh, a 1 from that bit, and we've got a 3 times 3 over 2 from that bit, which gives us 11 over 2, isn't it? 9 over 2 plus another 1. So 11 over 2, or 5.5 as your answer, just from the two marks.